Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oscar, and today I'm going to be doing the review on the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Autobot Skids. Uh, yeah, probably the first Autobot Transformer that I'm going to be reviewing on this channel. The rest were just all Decepticons. But right now, here's a review of Skids. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm kind of excited, and let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Again, before we take a look at the figure itself, let's take a close look at the package so you can see. There's uh, Skids' face, and there's Autobot Skids with the Autobot symbol. Nothing. Nothing. Autobot symbol right there. And on the back of the packaging... Again, don't mind that red piece on the side. It's um, there is the bio, and there's the figure itself, and there is the car mode, and he does have Mech Alive, and all that. His read up says because of his slightly less hyperactive -er than his brother Mudflap, Autobot Skiz has always thought himself as the smart one. He likes to point this out at every opportunity while Mudflap zips around like a maniac. Autobot Skiz prefers to impress his superiors among the Autobot, highly commanded by oh, sorry, by be ha be behaving in a way that he thinks has a mature, which usually involves talking non-stop about anything that occurs to him. So yeah, that's Skids for you. And that is the package for Skids. So yeah, oh, also one more thing that there's like an Autobot symbol like in the Deluxe class where I did a review on Sideways, they had a Decepticon symbol. This time it has an Autobot symbol, so yeah, that's kind of pretty cool. So here's Skids himself. Really nice vehicle. I do not know what a vehicle is. I think he's a Chevy something. Kind of don't remember, but one of the coolest vehicles. He does have a brother. Uh, he's based off the twins. Uh, he does have a brother named Mudflap. Um, which I don't have right now, current. I just chose Skids. But maybe in the future I'll get Mudflap and I'll do a review. Showcase both of the twins. My favorite... One out of all of them is Mudflap because I, I really just like Mudflap. He's like really cool. The twins were like been always my favorite. But yeah, Skids looks is actually really cool. Some of the black painting detailing molded in this light green. And on the back is just the red headlights and his license plate said Skids. And he does roll pretty nicely. You guys can see. It. One size comparison, here he is right next to uh, the Lux Class Sideways, and you guys can see a good size difference, as you guys can see. And with one uh, swift motion, here he is right next to R Rampage, right here. So you guys can get a good size. But, it's still... Pretty cool, nonetheless, pretty nice. And uh, what else can you say? And there's a Chevy symbol right there. I like the transparent blue windows that they use on skids. There's like a little bit of damage right here just because of the elastic bands from the packaging. It's kind of a bummer, but still, no problem. There's the underside. But uh, yeah, nothing else much to say first Autobot in this channel so yeah uh, without further ado let's just get into the transformation so to transform him he's actually pretty fun and pretty difficult at the same time first what you want to do is you want to come here to the windows and you want to detach them like so detach this whole piece from the car so you guys can see oh detach that and just put that down and again, come back on the other side. And just detach, 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 and everything. And just keep uh, pulling this down and around, like so. And you want to come here. You just want to come here. These are going to be his legs. So you want to come here. You want to fold this piece down and fold the foot down fold this down and rotate it around like so and you just want to this little pole will tab into that 
just want to align it carefully and it will tab in the side of the foot see if I can try to rotate this around it's kind of difficult you just have to align there everything oh you just want to straighten out the foot I forgot you just want to straighten this out and now you can tap it in like so and there's a foot the same here straighten out the foot like so bring this down and rotate this around and again bring down this and just peg peg in here There we go. Those are mud, uh, Skids' legs. Okay, now you want to come here to the back. You want to detach this. This was already coming off. And you want to bring this down. And you want to detach here. And just want to bring this out. Like so. Like so. And you want to kind of... Let's see. see, see. Okay, you want to come here. And you want to... Break this away. Kind of want to just detach that. See if I can. See if I can try to. Okay, there we go. Just want to detach that. And you want to freaking fold this. Down. Okay, you want to fold this. And this is a pain. Like I'm already forming stress marks right around here. So you just kind of want to push this in, and this will actually kind of collapse. In. Okay, there we go. Oh, easy as pie. Okay, you want to collapse that in, and while you have a chance, just fold forward his head, and there's Skids' head, and you want to rotate all this around to the other side. Just want to rotate this all the way around, like so. Okay, now you want to kind of, let's see, you just kind of want to take these little tabs and tap them into these holes on these, so you just kind of want to Attach them on, just make sure just to um, fold this forward. Oh, no, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. And just gonna wanna kind of try to fold this. See if I can try to. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, there we go. And just fold this down. This will give them a little more depth and just peg it in the side of the arms, like so. Okay. Okay, we're getting everything done. Fold down the head. Just kind of tab in there. And you just want to get everything out. Just fold this out and just rotate around. This is his big arm and just do whatever you want with this. Just leave it up or just put it like that, whatever you want. The same here. Rotate around and there's his arm. And just put it like that. Straighten everything out. And just come back here. And this tab will actually tab into the back of his neck. This little piece will slot in the back of his neck. Just tab that in. And just kind of... Whoopsie. Oops. Well, I, screwed, I screwed something up. Oh yeah, there we go. Just want to cube that. Oh, actually, no, no, no. That, that, that piece is kind of trapped. And just fold kind of all this down. Just tap it in. I fixed the problem. So the problem was that before you tap this in, this, this, oh, okay, I mean, I'm going to show you. This between here, if I can show you guys, this little tab is supposed to tap in that little hole. And once it tabs in, it will allow you to tap it in on the back of the head. I kind of messed up there. I'm so sorry, guys. But, yeah. So, once you've done that and everything and Googles and Bobbles and all that, there you have, um, there you have Skids in his robot mode. He doesn't like to stand very well. 
I'm just gonna leave him um, against the wall there. Okay, again, a very fun, look, loving character. Super, super nice. Really do, really like this guy a lot. Make sure to fold this piece down so it could give a little more depth to it. But yeah, I really do like the twins. Again, Mudflap is my favorite. It's the skids, but yeah, uh, he does have some action features um, in this robot mode, but I'll get that in uh, just a little bit. Um, the detail looks fairly nice. Just has, he has a nice head. Let me show you guys. He has a pretty nice head sculpt. You can kind of see the gold and the silver tooth. That's what Skid's all about. And that silver huge eye and some of that hair and the goofy ears. And you see the sh Chevrolet, um, the, sh the Chevy um, symbol on his chest. Pretty nice. Huge arm. Because the twins obviously have the huge arms. Mudflap has it on the other side. But yeah. Um, pretty nice arm. And for some reason they put the Autobot symbol on his crutch. Don't know why. Um, and here he has the very nice legs. Right here. With the very nice design. And all in out pretty good. Here's a small arm. This one's kind of loose. But just pretty nice. Really do like this figure. Molded and it's like he's like more chubby as green. And on the back, just huge lump of plastic. But yeah, overall a pretty nice character. Really do like him. Uh I pr pr pretty cool. Um yeah. I hope uh Hasbro makes a studio series of the twins. That would just be really cool. As far as his articulation, his head is on a ball joint. It could go left and right, it can also go up and down, and his arms can go move forward, and they can all do 360, yes. They can do 360, and they can also spread out. He has a bicep swivel, and he has bend at the elbow, you know. And again, different. You know, he has a double hinge on this elbow, so you can, like, double hinge him, like, so. And he has no... He does have a swivel, I think, in the hand. Yes, he has a hand swivel. Oh, he only on this hand. He only has, like, a swivel on this hand, if I can show you guys. Look. Look at that. But, yeah, I just like to keep it like this, because it looks pretty gnarly. Uh, his legs uh, are on a ball joint, again. They can move uh full uh they can move uh in the legs, they can bend and they can bend out and they can bend in like so. And the feet are like in a ball joint, so you can like move them around. Uh yeah. And oh he also he does also have swivel, I think. He does no. But yeah, you can actually pose them if you wanted to. Um which just with the size comparison, here he is right next to, oh crap, here he is right next to Starscream, Revenge of the Fallen Starscream. Again, deluxe, class, pretty small. Uh, I'm gonna, he doesn't really like to stand, so I'm just gonna have to leave him against the wall, and um, I'm just gonna put Starscream right there. So as you guys can see, Starscream is like huge, pretty big for a Voyager class, and Skid's already right here. The deluxe class, so it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's just a fun little character. I do recommend him. Uh, yeah, obviously twins are sold separately. They did make a variant of these two with just a repaint. Now, as far as his action features, actually are pretty cool. So if you come along to the chest, I'm gonna have to show you guys. If you come along to the chest, if you there, this is a button when you press it. Watch this. It activates his mech life and it bops his head up and down. Uh, the twins uh, were uh, originally going to be named Herp and Derp. You know. It's pretty. It's like pretty gnarly. And these pieces also move on the side. And the second feature is that when you come to this big arm, there's this like, little lever on the button. When you push it back, it's, it's a spring-loaded fist it doesn't really shoot out and it also pops out a little gun right here and you just push it back again click it back into place and then pew you know 
God dang it. But yeah, oh, he also has movement here on the on the thumb. You can op you can kind of open his thumb up and you can close it back up. So yeah, and he also has pretty nice light pipe light piping. I'm sorry, pretty nice light piping. Is if I can show you guys. Hold on, let me let me see if I can show you. Pretty nice. Um, but yeah, now that's skids. Um, let me see if I can give you a 360 of this guy. He almost looks like he has a cape on his back. But, yeah. Okay, so, to transform him back to his Chevy mode, uh, he's actually pretty fun. So, to transform him back, you're gonna wanna come here to this back piece and just wanna detach it on the back of his neck and just spread it all out. And you just want to detach from here from the arms and flip this piece back up again and just uh, flip this out like so and let's see you want to come here you want to fold this forward and you're gonna want to fold this in the side of the arms and you're gonna want to fold here that will cover up this and again, rotate this around. You want to bend at the elbow and just bend forward. I mean, bend it backwards. This is kind of painful, but bend it backwards. Remember, this arm is in a double hinge. And then you just want to bring this piece down and this will cover up. And this will become the back piece for skids. Uh, next, you want to kind of bring the head back. Actually, no, before you do that, rotate this around. Like again. And then now bring the head back. Like so. And then it will just slot back in there. Just put it back there. Flip up the hood, and just and just trying to like this tab will kind of tab in here, and you just kind of want to try your best, just try to align it up the best you can. Uh, I just wanna. Okay, there we go. There we go. We we got it pegged in. Okay. All right, uh, the legs, you just kind of want to get them out of the way because you're going to have to do something else. And once, you do, once you've done that, we'll lift this up and you just want to kind of just... Uh, geez, my, my... Geez, I'm all itchy today. Keep on constantly have to scratch myself. Anyway, so I'm bring this down and then you want to kind of bring... This... This tiny tab will tab into that. You just want to bring the arms together. We'll form the back. You just want to cover that up. You just want to bring that up. And you just want to... And again, you just want to push this up. Hurt. Okay. Okay. Tap that up. And tap that up. Okay. And there we go. And let's see. I just bring it more back. Maybe so. And uh, just want to bring this forward and in, and you just want to tap it in, line it up. And it just it just wanna it takes a lot of work and uh, and just just takes a lot of work. Mm. And uh, okay, like so. Okay, uh, just fix the back like so okay next do you want to kind of uh, again fix the legs sorry for the long again I'm concentrating detach again from the foot and rotate it actually no before you have a chance just rotate this up and just line it back up same here oh and I forgot just bend and, oh, and then just 
bend this forward and just uh, you can choose whichever way I'm gonna choose this way uh, actually no I'm just gonna you can either rotate around whichever you like I'm just gonna choose that way like that and just bend at the knee like so Do the same here on the other leg just outline it and then flip up the little window fold this back and then just fold this out and then again just bend his leg and again just fold this forward again takes a lot of requirement and work and all of this okay oh crap Oh Jesus, 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 Jesus. I'm kind of messing up here. Oh crap. I told you guys, he, at, again, in the beginning of the review, fun transformation, but at the same time, it's a pain in the... It's a pain in the hard work to do. It's pretty... Jesus. But... I just need to freaking align these. The legs are the problem that I have transforming them back. That's the problem I have with these legs. Um, okay. Alright guys, just give me a second just to straighten everything out. Okay. I finally got it to work. But the back pieces just keep on popping off on me. Sorry guys, that was my sister. And uh, just again, peg it on the side. Just want to get it aligned perfectly. I uh, just want to get it. Peg it in here. Okay. Do want to play by the rules? Okay, we won't play by the rules then. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm literally about to give up. Okay. I literally was transforming him before I did this review and he worked out fine but for some reason he just doesn't want to work on me today. Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, just make it tap in. Please, please go in there. Please, 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 please. Uh, I are pretty uh, I pretty apologize for the uh, for the inconvenience that I'm giving you guys here. It's just that mud flap is just not want to uh, tap back in. There we go. Okay. 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 We got this side tabbed in. Okay. All right. Now the other side. Okay. Just get this freaking side just lined up and tabbed in. So I just, just being a, you know what? Jesus, mm, I'm getting angry. Don't don't play with me. I'm getting really mad. Why are you popping out? Why is this side popping out? Why does this side keep up? Stay, stay in there. Thank you. All right, now again, oops. Just line it the heck up. Okay, and then... Okay, and then just... Oops, I accidentally tucked in the window in the car. <sighs> I feel... I'm scared that I might scratch off some of the paintwork on the side of the car. And I'm trying to get everything lined up so it can be perfect in, in a good way, you know. Uh, I am gonna scream. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Finally, we got him transformed back into his Chev Chevrolet mode. Oh my god, I'm so lightheaded. Okay, so we finally got Skids transformed back into his Chevy mode. Okay. Jesus. Yep, I'm scared that I might go through the same problem in the Transformer future as me trying to concentrate to transform while I'm taking about 20 minutes trying to figure out to transform him, but... But yeah, this was um, this was a review of uh, Revenge of the Fallen Skids. So yeah, if you guys did like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss a new video every time it comes out. Again, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.